Good morning, Adventure Nation. We're in Chama, New Mexico, and there's this. This is the motorhome experiment. This is Chama, New Mexico. Early in the morning, and we're heading out to check the Cumbers and Totec Railroad. A cool little building there. Galloping Goose is here too. the Chama, New Mexico train. Kind of does a one-way north, and then you come back by bus. And unfortunately, this trip, we're not gonna be able to do it, but we're gonna be back because I like trains. It's gonna have to be until May, though. Yeah, it has to be May. It stops running in October, and uh, it only runs May through October, so it'll have to be sometime next year. But uh, this would, pop a full day, full extra day into us getting back home, so not gonna happen. But looks really, really cool. I don't think you're supposed to be here, Lorena. It doesn't say not to come here. And there is a guy that works here. He has not said anything. Okay. This is cool. Mm -hmm. Read Logan, basically. Okay, sorry. Do that again. No. Yeah, say it again. Because you're correct. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're correct. No. Okay. This is an assumption because I don't know too much about trains, but this is, I think, common sense. Now the coal will go up there and the train will be here and they will just like load the train with the coal and if anything will fall, will fall down here. So they can put it back in there. I hope I'm right, I don't know. I believe she's correct and if not, you can Google it. <laughs> yeah but we know they don't use that anymore because we saw them using a front end loader this morning to <laughs> fill it up. They cheat. They're cheating now, they have modern equipment. <laughs> What's crazy about these... 
What's crazy about these old steam trains is that they sound like they're breathing. See you again, Cumbers and Taltec. We have crossed from New Mexico, northern New Mexico obviously, into Colorado, and Colorado never disappoints. Absolutely gorgeous and picturesque. Of course, I probably picked the worst area to film. Look at that, nice. Welcome to Pagosa Springs, world's deepest hot springs. Wow, well, very cool. I wish we'd known that before we decided we weren't stopping here. <laughs> we would have drove up here last night. Look at this place, it's just packed. Ah, it is Sunday, we forget. So everyone's out for their Sunday breakfast. This looks like a cool little town. Of course, everything in mountainous Colorado is a cool little town, I think. Farmer's Market. Arts and crafts. Very cool. So we really had no idea about Pagosa Springs, I wish we did, but uh, this whole area behind us is like all hot springs coming fresh, natural hot springs that they've walled some of them in so that uh, you can sit there and bathe in it. And then some of it seems to flow right out of the sides of the hills and into the river. So we're gonna check out the river here and see how warm the actual river is. It might not be, but <laughs> Let's check it out. Survey says? Coal. Coal? Yeah. So maybe from the springs are flowing down into the coal river. So Pagosa Springs, hot springs and a golf course with a badass lake on it. We gotta come back here. We can spend a couple days here. Yeah, we'll be back for sure. 
like it? So we're driving through Old Town Durango. I guess this is all Durango. And we're gonna be spending the night here doing some exploring of the downtown area and enjoying some of their food. Durango is one of my favorite places in the Southwest. It's just a cool little town. That building right there in the corner, the Strader Hotel is really cool. The Diamond Bell Saloon inside is a really fun place. So maybe try and get that. And all right. We are in the General Palmer Hotel here in Durango, Colorado, downtown Durango. It's right next door to the train, really convenient. This is their solarium. It's just an absolutely beautiful room. The way the light comes in, the uh, stained glass windows and stuff. Just check this out. The big mirror at the far end so that it makes it look even bigger. Just what a beautiful room. What do you think? And very handy to the train depot. So you're taking the train from Durango. Maybe this is the place to stay. I know how much it will cost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it ain't cheap. It might be haunted too. And it might be haunted. <laughs> I can just picture sitting in that room, having a cigar, reading a book. You didn't smoke cigars. No, I don't smoke cigars, but if I did, I could picture myself in there smoking a cigar. Well, with you, we'll be drinking a, a Dr. Yeah, Pepper. Drinking a Dr. Reading Pepper, a reading a book. The More solarium. like listening to an audiobook. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or listening to an audiobook, yeah, because I don't read either. Oh, he reads, yeah. he just, not as much as listen to audiobooks. We found this really cool little rooftop restaurant, and it's packed in here today because it's Broncos football day. And Lori and I stumbled across the local art festival and so we're checking that out pretty, pretty cool, cool stuff mm -hmm. oh wow look at this oh, that's awesome hey you bring up a hoe that would be a kind of chair that is just unique so we'll buy one Hey Lori, how's your tuna? Yeah. It looks good. 
How was your polenta? What does this train remind you of when you see it? Reminds me? Yeah, what does it remind you of? Polar Express. Polar Express or Harry Potter, right? Yeah. It's so Harry Potter. <laughs> They're very cool. My goodness look at this place holy smokes how freaking cool is this I'm in train heaven What's crazy, gang, is I've been to Durango many, many times, and I did not know that the museum was here at the train station. Some phenomenal cars, really cool model trains, obviously some great trains, and just some really cool museum pieces. Uh, some old uh, cars, some old, an old caboose. There's just I could spend hours in here, but we don't have time because we're heading off to see a vaudeville show but very, very cool. Now I just have to go find Lori. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be really cool. Coal in the back. They come and shovel it into here. It's crazy. Here, I can't go in there, but you guys can. Here. freaking cool okay guys one of the things you have to realize is this is one of the first pieces of transportation one of the first modes of transportation so somebody had to sit down figure all of this steam stuff out figure out how they're gonna heat it up down here and get the water to come up through this and the steam and everything to move and so like these guys were the true pioneers the true engineers of the transportation industry so looking at this stuff to me is just absolutely incredible it's just mind-blowing we're just getting ready to put this on the turntable to turn it around
So gang, if you're in Durango, you should check out the museum. It's right behind the train depot. Really cool stuff. And it's not just trains, it's cars, transportation. Uh, there was a solar powered car in there. Really, really cool stuff. And you can see the train turn. The oh train yeah, and we just saw the train turntable thing. I don't know how much of that's gonna come out in the video. The light's getting really weird right now, but we're gonna end it. We're going to the vaudeville show right now. Thanks for watching, gang. Make sure that if this is your first time here, that you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all the stuff that we're doing, all the crazy adventures. <laughs> and uh, if you've been here before, it'd be cool if you liked the video. But uh, that's all we got for you, gang. We really appreciate you guys being here. We love the fact that you guys are watching and commenting and all that kind of stuff. So thanks a lot. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.